I love Brave Little Toaster. It is my all-time favorite movie and series. And I love the song Worthless. But I had noticed a really nihilistic uh, opinion on life from that song, and I wanted to talk about it. A few years back, I commented in the comment sections on one of the videos of the music video with my main channel about the real horror is that we relate to at least one of the cars. If you haven't seen the scene, cars think about how they end up in the junkyard and how they were worthless and how they are worthless until they're hit with the crusher and end up, you know, not being anymore. Now the metaphor is for real life and these are people about to die and the crusher is death itself and the Grim Reaper is the huge magnet that picks them all up. Now I want to make it very clear that when I said the song has a half true on life, I'm not ever talking about the worthless part of the song. The song is a very negative view on death, and er every one of you watching this has a purpose. W where I agree with the song is when all the cars sing about all the things they did in their lives not mattering, but it is because they are, are focused on worldly positions and occupations. You cannot define yourself by your occupation or how much money or fame you have. I told this to one of the commenters on the thread uh, that you are you're amazing to the people around you and, and use the characteristics that God gave you as your purpose, whether you're funny, caring, loving, etc. It's okay if you don't believe in God and when I mention God, you can like just tune it out for a little bit. I'm just a Christian. That's what I believe. But I believe God gave you life to make other people's lives happier. But you can easily see this without God, and you know, without the God part, and strive to make other people's lives happy because it will make you feel good inside. Again, if you're not a Christian, just hear me out with this. The devil wants you to believe your life has, to believe your life has, has no purpose. Or AKA your depression wants you to believe that your life has no purpose. I was becoming an incident existential nihilist in thinking life has no meaning at all, but that's not true at all. I was just really disappointed in God at the time. And I believe as a Christian, aka just a human being, I'm here to make this world a little happier place with just being myself. Fill your life with things you enjoy and create your own meaning. To don't look to the world to tell you you're worth with the grades you get in school the money you make at work, or the career you have, or the relationship you have, or where you're born into, or anything. God has a purpose for your life, and he uses you every day. It's not about the destination in life, it's about enjoying the journey, and counting the blessings you do have in life, and not looking at the negatives. That mindset alone has helped my mental health so much, thinking that way, because you can... I'd rather have nothing in life material wise and have the right mindset than have the wrong mindset and have everything in life material wise because I'd rather be happy than rich. I don't consider myself an existential nihilist anymore because just because I'm unsure just because I'm unsure what the future will be, I still have a purpose. All these cars are looking back at their lives and themselves is what they accomplished, but not the type of car, aka person, they were. Because in life, being a good person is all that really matters. If you weren't really a good person and you turned it around, I think that means a lot too. If you know, if you know, being nice it comes naturally to some people, but it doesn't for others. And if you turn that around and become a nice person, I think that's 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 a huge. That I think that's a huge edge. Or someone that's just naturally nice, you know what I mean? As a side note, I relate to the car that says she can't get her life started the most because I struggle with mental health. But mental health diagnoses aren't the type of person I am. And the hardworking blue car is more than a hard worker, etc. Hope this video gave you some more relief in life. But anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel. This channel is all about cartoons, and once upon a time, 
it was about spoons in one video, but I wanted to go spoonless for this series video. Plus, the gimmick isn't really that funny to me anymore. The channel has gone through some identity crisis because I might have to rename this channel for the fourth time. I'll see you in the next video about cartoons, and thanks for watching. I appreciate your time.